with Darkwing Doll here. So I decided to do another video for Freeform Dreadlock Talk. I did a video yesterday um, talking about my experience with this, the Wild Growth Hair Oil, uh, so far. This is my second week of using it. Yesterday was my second day. So uh, today will be my third day using it. I'm going by the instructions of this video that I found uh, recommending or talking about it, breaking down the instructions on how the first week you use it once second week you use it twice so I'm on the second week so this is the second day yesterday I used it on my dreads um, yeah my dreads have gotten uh, gotten way healthier I can tell because I don't have a bunch of locks uh, breaking off so uh, way healthier than they have been for a long time I'm sorry it's kind of dark in here but like I said, I'll try to get some photos whenever I can. It's just been really dreary here in sunny California because it's been looking like it's going to rain. So, um, But yeah, I've been using this, uh, and this is going to be the third day. So I'm going to put some on. I just put a few squirts in, my, in the palm of my hand, and then I do like this, and then I just kind of massage it into my scalp. And my hair feels so soft. I massage it into my scalp. I don't like, uh, I like get to the scalp to move the scalp. Um, it's not easy to do that all the time, <laughs> but I love the way it smells. It smells fantastic. I love all that's in it. Um, check out my video that I did, um, yesterday and I talk about what's in it. Um, it's a reasonable price that I bought it for. I think I bought it for five bucks for a bottle of this, but I got two bottles, so I pay it like ten bucks. So uh, not a bad deal at all, uh, and it smells really good. I just uh, rinsed my hair with uh, rice water, and my hair was damp before putting this on. So I wait till my hair is not so is not like soaking wet. You know, dripping wet away to it air dries and it's um move this out of the way. <laughs> it air dries and it's uh and it's not like drippy wet. That way it will um it will absorb my hair will absorb the oils better than if I were to put it on my head wet. A lot of people already know that. I know I have on the alien Christmas shirt, whatever. <laughs> But this is what my hair, back of my hair. I try to get the back of my hair all the time, but I can't. So yeah, this is the third day. I'm going to be keeping you guys up on track with it. Let me see if I turn this light on if that'll help. So, so scoot down a little bit. Can you see it, guys? Can you see it? See my hair? And either side. I also wanted to show you something that I got through the mail today. I was waiting for it, and... um. So, so many people have been telling me about this Jamaican castor oil, so I decided to get some. So I got some. It came in the mail today. <clears throat> Let's see. I need something to open it. I'm always using my nails, which that's why I don't always have long nails all the time. Anyway, let me go grab something to open this, and then I'll be right back. I'm back. I got a box cutter here. Professional. I used to work uh, as a grocery clerk, so yeah. It's important to have one. <laughs> important to have a good, good box cutter. So, open this up. Alright. Hope you guys are having a good day today. Day, evening, whatever time it is for you. Oh, they wrapped it really nicely. They wrapped it in a lot of uh, bubble wrap. I always like when it's wrapped really thoroughly. Uh, let's see. I had contacted the company because they were it was supposed to arrive on I think it was the seventh, but and so I was like, oh, it hasn't arrived yet. So I contacted, it. and then it got weird. Like, oh, if they don't contact you and, and all this by this and that date, then we'll get involved. You know, uh, eBay. And I was like, well, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> yeah. So this right here that I got was a Jamaican. Mango and lime black castor oil for dry and itchy scalp. So it's four ounces of this. I got it for um, $9.99. Um, after all is said and done, I spent what? Well, subtotal. 
shipping and handling three ninety five, and then um, so all together thirteen ninety four. So, um, and I'm thinking I won't need a lot of it, you know, so it'll last, and I'm going to be the only one using it. So, uh, okay, I think I need the box cutter to get this open too. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, where did I put this? Oh, here it is. Let's see. If anybody's tried the the oil, you can feel free to let me know any of these oils. Um, I never thought I'd be using oils uh, later on in my freeform dreadlock journey, but obviously I am, you know, and it's been helping me. So that's what I say to people. Um, everybody's journey is going to be different. So if, if something that you're using is helping you and working, then keep doing it. Don't, you know be swayed by any uh, anybody else's opinion because opinion is just that everybody has an opinion you know what i'm saying so don't go with what works is all i'm saying well they really wrap this good oh look they use bubble wrap and they use cardboard that's cool because it's probably a glass bottle let's see okay i gotta use the box cutter for the glass for the cardboard here all right so all right, so this is the uh, Jamaican lime, Jamaican lime uh, castor oil, black castor oil. So on the instructions it says, for daily use, apply a generous amount of Jamaican and lime castor black oil to your roots and scalp. Isn't your roots and your scalp about the same thing? <laughs> Anyways, um, massage oil into your scalp with fingertips to rejuvenate scalp and replenish hair's moisture. I see you can use it on your skin too. Okay, so I'm gonna try some of this. I remember seeing a video where someone said they mixed it with uh, something because it's really thick. Let me adjust this camera and be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I just had to adjust the camera, it was kind of sliding. Uh, but yeah, this is what it is Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil so it says amla at the end helps helps men dry weak hair improves hair elasticity and moisturizes dry hair so i'm gonna put see how it smells first mm. that smells interesting so let's see what's in it actually Castor seed oil, glycerin, grapeseed oil. That's a lot of stuff in here. The writing's kind of, kind of uh, hard to read. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put see how that, Oh, it comes out like a dropper, huh? It's not coming out. Oh, this is in the way for it to come out so it doesn't leak. See, they got that in there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's my first time using this stuff. So I'm just going to put it in my... They said a generous amount. This seems really thick. So, what? like I was saying, this one video I watched, the woman was saying that she mixed it with coconut oil uh, because it's thick. So, But coconut oil is thick, too. I've got coconut oil right here. Something's telling me not to do that, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to rub in my hands and then just massage my scalp with it. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> it smells like a smoothie. Smoothie. <laughs> it smells very, um, very fruity smelling. I like it. That's a really nice smell. So, massage it. They say a generous amount, but, um... How much do you consider to be a generous amount? For those of you who have used this oil before, please let me know in the comments section below. Um, I'm just going to leave on what I just put on because I feel like that was a, a great amount. <laughs> and my hair smells so beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm loving it. It's aromatherapy for real. It smells so good. It's like this uh, citrus oil smell. Oh man. Talk about aromatherapy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah this is nice I like it orange scent I love citrus scents they're so beautiful they're so relaxing so uplifting 
Oh man, yeah, I love it. So now I have both the Jamaican um, <laughs> remembering the names of these products. The Jamaican mango and lime black castor oil. Now I have that going on in my hair as well as the um, wild hair growth oil. And I put these both on after my hair has, uh, well not dried completely, but it's damp. Um, I just rinsed my hair uh, before all this with a rice water rinse. Um, what I did first was I put the rice water, um, let the rice water sit for two days and I got it put in for minty smelling. And then um, today I just poured it onto my hair and scalp in the shower and um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been helping too. And I've only been using the rice water treatment treatments once a once a month because I I don't know. I just I think that's a better thing to do. I don't need to do these treatments that treatment that often. So yeah, I like the way my hair feels right now. I'm feeling really and it's smelling really nice. So I'm gonna let my hair dry, air dry, while I work on some art today and. I'll show you my hair um, but yeah it's it, it makes it feel really soft I w I'm gonna get try to get you guys some pictures I swear <laughs> once I get to the park again um, I'll get out there and get you some pictures and um, and then you can see more of what my hair looks like maybe I could have someone help me with that because it's hard to get photos of my head <laughs> trying to do it myself um, yeah, there's one thing I wanted to talk about. I saw this video of this woman has these long dreadlocks, and um, they're not freeform dreadlocks, they're salon locks. And she was complaining about how how in, how hard it was to have long locks, how they get caught in you know caught in uh, places that she doesn't want. She ha she doesn't like ha the half. She has to have her hair up all the time. She gets frustrated with the lint. And she gets from it seems like I don't know you can guys whatever tell me if you think this is true it seems like people with free foreign dreadlocks it's not like that big of an issue to think about all this stuff um, but when you get your hair done like over you have the salon like locks where all the locks are kind of the same size the same width then um, it becomes more um, more of a aesthetic thing outside package type of thing and not so much that you're just letting your hair grow because it's a journey and it's a spiritual journey and it was just interesting seeing a different perspective of hair because a long time ago when I didn't have dreadlocks and my hair wasn't in a natural state and I was using relaxers and all the way back to the 80s with the jerry curl um, I had the same kind of uh, perspective as this woman with locks did um, I was frustrated that my hair uh, wouldn't do what it want what I wanted it to do that um, it just wasn't how I liked it and but the thing is is that the reason why I didn't like my hair because it wasn't my real natural hair and I'm not saying that woman's hair wasn't her real natural hair it just was confusing because she was complaining about the fact that now that her hair is so long you know it's hard to do things like she wants to be able to wear her hair down more than wear it up and I'm like is that really a problem is all you know her hair is getting down really long and stuff and it almost felt like a video just bragging about how long your hair is and complaining about it and it's kind of like there's a solution to that just cut it if you don't like that it's long she's like I kind of miss it when my hair was shorter and what she considered short was to her shoulders and I'm like I thought that long hair <laughs> when people could raise long hair it was the shoulders that's long hair when it gets long at least for me and this is like the longest my hair has ever been <laughs> so uh, anyway I just thought that was kind of strange um, but everybody has something that they I guess a lot of people have a lot that they have to complain about with their hair with me I don't have anything to complain about with my hair I love it and it keeps getting better and better the more things I learn to help take care of it the healthier it gets so, let's see if I can stand up you can see it the length of it and the condition of it. Uh, let me pause it and I can go in the mirror and do that. So I'll be right back.
So yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what my hair looks like. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm enjoying the journey. I hope you are too. So I'll see you next week for more on how this is working for me. The uh, wild growth hair, uh, wild hair growth oil. <laughs> yeah, I can't say that for some reason. Wild growth hair oil. I like it. I love the way it smells. And so far, I like this Jamaican uh, black castor oil. It smells really nice, and I like the way my hair is feeling right now. My hair is feeling really nice and soft and kind of bouncy-like. And even my new growth underneath right here and on the sides. See, I got a lot of new growth on the sides right here and underneath. And I love that because that's going to grow out and just block on its own. So, anyways, thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a great day, a great evening. Whatever time it is for you, thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. Leave your comments down below and let me know if you're using any of these oils on your hair, on your locks. And let me know your experience with them or any other things that you're doing with your locks to keep them healthy and strong. So, with that said, um, if you subscribe to this channel, thank you. If you like to, please do. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can go to my Google Pay or my PayPal. In exchange for your donation, I can create a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you or a one-of-a-kind uh, video on your topic that you choose. So, with that said, brightest blessings to y'all and keep things simple.